And here I can tell you right now, selfishly, that we love to recruit down the road to Walter Bryant University. But this is one of the, obviously, the finest young men I've ever coached. Let me tell you about loyalty, and then we'll get to Nils here. You know, college coach, we're never going to make a, a fortune playing lacrosse or coaching lacrosse. You know, you go to college in the U.S., so if you're a candidate, you graduate, and then it's your career. That's what it's all about here. It's about graduation, career, being successful, life being a good husband, being a great father, all the above. And I said to the team yesterday, when we announced Nils, I said, if we don't wake up, all 45 of us in that room over there, we're going to be working for Nils Thompson someday. You know, this past summer, Nils wanted to uh, do an internship on Wall Street, okay, uh, the financial district. And, you know, 30 years of coaching, I got a lot of guys down there, a lot of alums from a lot of different schools, Ohio Wesley, Army, Duke, Bryant. So we called two of my Duke captains, Danny Flannery, class of 06 at Duke, Jamie Brodsky, you know, class of 01 at Duke. And they worked for, you can Google it up, a, a very, very famous uh, Wall Street firm called Nomura. Okay? Nils goes down and does an internship this past summer and absolutely blows those guys away. They were so excited about Nils. Nils is a senior at Bryant. He got a call a month ago. They offered him a full-time job. At a, at a terrific base and all the above when he graduates from Bryant. So he's graduating from Bryant, going right to Wall Street. And then his first check, his first donation check, is coming back to his old coach. We forgot that either, right, Nelson? Let's go. So, uh, I guess that, guys, it's uh, for me selfishly, too, it's a pleasure to have you here. You know, we got an unbelievable university, great commitment to lacrosse. And uh, you know, I just, as I said to, to Coach Thompson and certainly Coach Merrill, you know, my objective this weekend to treat you guys like gold, take great care of you, and, uh, and you got a hell of a team. There's some great players here. And, uh, I know a lot of you guys have committed. There's some uncommitted guys, but at the end of the day, you know, thank you for making the journey from, uh, from, from up north. And I think you got one more to go, right, Brandon, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, I appreciate you being here, and welcome to Rhode Island. With that said, no stops. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot to Coach Buster, and just to start off, thanks a lot to every single one of you guys, the coaching staff, for making the trip down. You guys have no idea how much this helps us to have this scrimmage in the fall and be able to get after a different color jersey at this time of the year. Um, this is a special day for me. You know, thinking it back when I first came to the Hill, we had, I think, a 15-man roster. I was living in the Hill House, like crammed into a room with four other guys. Then I ended up moving to an apartment above Coffee Time in Kleinberg. We were taking classes from, you know, a house into the basement of a church, and we were just doing all that kind of stuff and cramming into that short bus, driving out of Maryland, playing all those games, and to see where this program has come and where you guys have come all the way, it's really special for me. And, you know, any single one of these guys and Coach Presser would tell you that I do nothing but brag about you guys all the time, and, uh, you know, I'm really proud to come from this program and to see where you guys are going and where this program goes every single year keep getting better and better. It's really special for me to watch. So um, congrats for you guys. Keep moving in the right direction. You guys are getting all the training and everything you need to be ready for a Division One program. I can say that. Going through the system, going through everything that you guys do, you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be ready when you get to, your, to whatever school you're committed to. And if you're not committed to a school yet, keep going, keep working hard. I landed um, a spot of Bryant really late in my second PG year. You guys keep working, keep trying. Keep contacting coaches and you'll get to where you need to be. But, you know, first and foremost, and to finish off, thank you very much for coming out again. Really appreciate it. It's great to see all you guys uh, beat up on Brown tomorrow for us. And uh, looking forward to taking you guys on the alumni game in a couple of months. Thanks a lot, boys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, you know, I just uh, know it's uh, you know, on behalf of uh, our team and all that, we're really, uh, we're really thankful to be here. Uh, you know, and, and we are uh, representing all the former guys, you know, yourself, Jared Noble, Jay Noble, all the guys that are, you know, down here. You know, this is where you want to aspire to be, right? And, and again, you know, as Coach Professor Bragg about and all that, gets it done in the classroom, gets it done off the field, and then he gets it done on the field, right? The cross is the tree. He's doing the other things, right? To set, set him up for that next stage in life, right? We use the cross to get there, right? And then it's always the other stuff that's the most important thing, right? So this is someone like a good role model, like uh, you know the rest of the coaching staff, and all the other uh, alum that are that are doing the good things in, in university as well. 
Alright, so uh, I want you guys to all introduce yourselves uh, as Nils goes through it and then uh, we'll let them get on the way. Alright? So Can we get a break here, bro? Yeah! yeah. yeah. You guys really helped me out. I was only around for four or five. We go one, eight, four, five, Hill Pride, right? On three? Yes. On three? Alright, here we go, boys. One, two, three. One, eight, four, five, Hill Pride.